it's been a minute. <laughs> I wonder if you guys miss me. You better. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're here for the first time, my name is Belema Ogulu and you are absolutely welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, hi, it's nice to see you again. So basically, in today's video, I'm just going to be getting ready. Why did I say getting ready? <laughs> problem in today's video i'm just going to be getting ready because today is my boss's birthday and we're going for party this evening yeah i just said that i'm going to do my makeup so why not just come and you know record a video for you guys it's been a minute so this video is going to be a q a video just because i haven't done one in such a long time so if you've not yet subscribed to my channel subscribe right now because i'm about to give you quality content okay and I always leave a quality, so <laughs> let's just always <laughs> agree on one point. Yes, I'm going to be using this brush cleaner from Quick by Revo to clean my brushes. It's actually so amazing, you guys. I just want to quickly clean my foundation brush because this brush has seen better days. So this is good enough for me right now. I don't need brush to be completely clean, but this brush cleaner is epic. Woo! <laughs> So because the year is coming to an end, my Q&A today is going to be an end of the year Q&A. So my first question on Q&A today is, what was your biggest triumph in 2021? And I was saying that the devil really made me believe at some point this year that I hadn't achieved anything. And uh, oh, I don't know if the camera picked up the foundation I was using, but I'm using Elsa's Pro foundation, <laughs> mixed in my hair kind of stuff foundation. So anyway, um, I was saying that sometime this year like for a very no not really for a very long period but at different intervals this year devil really made me feel like i haven't done anything with my life like my life was wasting like i said devil is such a bad devil <laughs> like i was really feeling like oh my gosh like i'm failing in life like even up until after i graduated you guys it was crazy mind you before i graduated i already got a job which in itself is a good achievement. The devil was trying to mess with my mind, okay? And I was just feeling very, 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 very unsuccessful. And another thing was that I kept on comparing myself. That was something that really, really, really messed with me. I compared myself a lot this year to other people and to other people's journeys. Even just like my beauty influencing career, everything, I compared myself a lot. And it was such a detriment to me because everybody has their own race everybody has their own journey everybody has their own timeline so comparing yourself is just such a bad thing to do because you're comparing your now to somebody's highlight reel you guys i know my makeup looks crazy right now but just trust the process okay so yeah you're comparing your now to someone else's highlight reel and that doesn't really work because in this life is everything is turn by turn and there are highs and lows at every point in life so somebody's high today you know doesn't mean that you won't have your own high or doesn't mean that you haven't experienced lows so comparing yourself is just very very it's like a fish looking at a monkey and saying oh i have no talents because i can't swing from trees you know what i mean so don't compare yourselves don't be like me earlier this year you guys it was a very bad thing for me to do i shouldn't have done that so to the question I feel like my biggest <laughs> I feel like my biggest triumph this year has just been I have quite a number I think getting a job before I graduated was a pretty big triumph because it was something that I wrote down before I even started my masters another one was there was a point in time this year that I was in a very very bad mental space and I don't want to admit it to myself. I don't know if you've ever been in a weird mental space where you just refuse to agree that you're having like a downtime. That was me this year, man. I just refused. I just, I said, no, I can't be. I can't be having a, like what? I, I said, I'm not depressed. I'm not depressed. It's like I just kept on telling myself, I'm not depressed, I'm not depressed. Like, <laughs> even though like I knew that like something they'll call, something is wrong with my mind though. I need to address this before it gets too crazy. I told myself, no, 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 we're not depressed, you know, depressed for what? What's even making us depressed, you know, but then I had to admit to myself that, you like, you're having a, 
something is happening, I need to address it so that it doesn't go too far. So yeah, I was in a bad mental space at some point. So I think that being able to get myself out of that space was a good, I think that's a triumph in itself. So that's all I'm adding to my triumphs. Um, this year, I was also able to really find myself. I lost myself and then I found myself. So, and I grew a lot this year. I went through, I went through a lot of things and that were pretty life-changing, but I am very, very proud of myself because the, I think back on times when um, I could have broken down this year and I did break down sometimes, but then I'm very, very proud of where I am now as of today, December, what's December something, December 2nd. And I'm very, very proud of myself. I mean, like I have made mistakes this year a lot of them, but I'm proud of how I bounce back. Like before I'll make a mistake and I'll, I wouldn't want to admit it to myself that I've made a mistake. I'll just be like, eh, everybody makes mistakes. But then I have been able to, to like sit to myself and be like, okay, we made a mistake. We could have done this, this, this better. We could have done that better. We could have, you know, we could have made better choices and stuff. And then I'm able to just like forgive myself and just move on. You know what I mean? As opposed to living in denial that, oh, I didn't make this mistake or I did it because, no. You know, so I've been able to grow a lot this year. I'm very, 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 very proud of the woman I'm becoming. You guys, I'm turning 26 in about one month and six days. My birthday is on the 8th of January. And I'm, I don't know, I'm usually not really excited about, like, not like I'm not excited about turning a new age, but, like, there's this excitement that I have for 26, and I don't know why, but... I just really, really feel it. I feel like 26 is going to be a really, really good year. And I'm looking forward to that. Sorry, I'm looking all over the place. I'm looking at the viewfinder just to make sure that I'm clear. I'm looking at my mirror so that I don't rub rubbish on my face. But anyway, so yeah, I was saying that um, I'm looking forward to 26. I'm very, 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 very happy. I feel very fortunate and, you know, I just feel good. Then I think another triumph I had this year, no, I think, no, another triumph I had this year was graduating my MSc. And it is very, very significant to me because different things happened that would have made me not graduate at different points in time. Like there was a time that I just wanted to stop. I was like, let me just, like, I'm tired. That was it. I was just, I was, I was super tired. I was ready to be done with school. Like, I was just ready to be done, especially towards the end, man. I don't know why that always happens. Like towards the end, it's, it's like everything is just going to shit. And I, I, I got really, really tired towards the end of my graduation. But thank God for my friends. Thank God for my community. Thank God for my family, my mom, my dad, everybody. Thank God for them because, huh, bro, it really takes a village, honestly. <laughs> it takes a village and I'm the child that they are raising. <laughs> so yeah. I think those are my triumphs for this year. Wow, I've been asking one question for like 10 minutes. Ugh, dilemma. Anyway, so um, what's next? What's the smartest decision you made in 2021? Was it in 2021 I decided to do my master's? No, that was 2019. <laughs> but yeah, that's one of my smartest decisions. One of the smartest decisions I made. I'm very, very grateful that I listened to my mom and the stubborn goat in me did not oppose you know, her suggestion for me to do my master's. I'm very, very proud of myself, as you can tell. I'm very, very proud that I did my MSc. I'm very, very, very happy, very proud of myself. And more than just being proud and happy, I'm, I'm, I'm happy because now, like my sisters, they have some, like they have me to look up to when they want to do their own master's too. Like I can tell them that, oh, doing your MSc, like I can talk from experience, not just from theory, you know? So I'm proud of that. That was a smart decision I made, but that was in 2019. I'm trying to think of a smart decision I made in 2021. Um, hmm. So I apply for my job. I think that was smart. And to not wait till, um, what's it called? To not wait until, <laughs> you guys, my face looks so funny, but I promise you, just trust the process. To not wait until I was done with my master's to apply just apply from school that was a smart decision one of the smartest ones actually all right you guys so i'm going to be using my setting powder from ruby light cosmetics it's in shade pumpkin i love this setting powder a lot it's like it's impressed me i went for the brand launch that's not the only reason why i love it but like i'm so impressed by it it's really really nice so anyway the question was what word best sums up and describes your 2021 experience hmm. 
what word can i can i use a phrase if you don't get it forget about it <laughs> no no that's not it but then i think a word is resilience or resilient i guess this was a very this was a year that tested my resilience right that's the word english right yes this year <laughs> bro i realized this year that i'm much stronger than i think much stronger than i know and that's something my best friend used to tell me all the time brown day she always tell me she'll be like hmm then my you're so strong i used to agree yes but then I, <laughs> bro this year tested me it tested me a lot and it, you know all these things that you cannot really tell someone else not because you can't tell someone else but because you don't even know what to say you don't know what to say it's like what do i even say to you now <laughs> you know so that was kind of year this year. so i think that a year to describe a word to describe this year was definitely a year that tested my resilience but it was the year that made me resilient so i'm about to contour my face using the ezekiel cosmetics holy grail palette um and i'm going to be using shade golden bronze and cafe so that's these two shades right here and yes i'm still one of those people that contours with powder i don't i don't know how to do it any other way so yeah um what are the greatest lessons you learned in 2021 <laughs> i used to have time for that number one lesson when you see the signs don't ignore them don't ever ignore the signs and trust your intuition oh my god trust your intuition and don't ever ignore signs that's it like that's that's number one not that's it then number two forgiveness oh my god you guys god taught me how to forgive in such a in such a i don't know what what word to use to describe this so i had a misunderstanding with a very 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 close friend of mine and it really shook our friendship and you know what's crazy on a normal day in fact i even thought that i see we can't be we can't be the way we were before you know i'm just i'm like this friendship like you know i just <laughs> let me tell you something about me right when i'm offended eh, by somebody that i care about or somebody that i love i'm most likely just going to like i'm most likely not going to say anything to you but then if i do say something hmm, it's a different ball game so anyway i sent her a message and a very long message and i was very very like i didn't hold back and that's this is the first friend that i'm ever being vulnerable with when the person offends me like and i've not made up my mind like how do i explain this i was vulnerable because i accepted the pain that i was feeling and then i sent her a message and actually it was one of my other friends not one of my other friends it was somebody that i was seeing that advised me to be like you know what just like send a message to her because she will never know how you're feeling you know if you don't tell her so i was like okay so i sent her a message and after i sent that message i was like yeah we're done like our friendship is so done <laughs> and it was paining me forget that i'm laughing it was pain i was pained and i don't know what i expected of her but she she lives far from me and she drove like two hours to my house okay not two hours maybe an hour and some change but then it is it, a journey that's my point is, is it was a journey and then she drove to my house and i wasn't picking her calls or anything she was calling me and stuff but i was like i beg i'm done i've said what i said and that's that about that period so i wasn't picking her calls and so i saw that she was calling me one time one afternoon like that and my phone was charging so i just left it i was like i beg and so i was just like watching a movie or i don't remember what i was doing safe i think i was even, i was editing in here so i wasn't paying attention to my phone but i saw that it was ringing like i saw when the first call came in and the next thing i knew like two of my other friends called nikke called me uh -uh. i was like why is nikke calling me then bam they called me i'm like ah then if i called me i was like ah, ah. i say wait till the soap like i was like ah, what's going on then my brother comes into my room and he's like oh um so as a person just called Tony to call me, to call you, to come downstairs. I was like, <laughs> I said, what's going on here? So at first I was reluctant. 
I didn't want to go, but then I won't lie, I could not have, I could have, I could not have not gone. I just couldn't do it. So anyway, I went downstairs and went to open the gates for her. And uh, I don't know why I'm coding her name. <laughs> anyway, so I opened the gates for her and then we came to the sitting room and we spoke and we cried. And even, even as I then. Yeah, I will not lie. Sometimes I, I wonder if I talk wins because as I we were having a conversation, I was just like, okay, whatever. Like I just said, like I, I was I was like, mm, no, I'm not buying it. But you know what? That is something that changed the dynamic of our friendship because you know how in friendships usually you don't have to fight for each other, you just click and then you're friends. And if anything happens, most times the friendship just goes out, honestly, let's be honest. Or the issues are not addressed till it's too bad and then everything goes crazy. Yeah, she got me by putting in the effort. Because me, I'm an acts of service kind of girl. That's my love language, right? So if you do something for me that is beyond, like, that is an act of service, basically, like, it is, you will get me. But now I like gifts, please be gifting me money. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, so she got me by coming all the way from her end. And it was late at night, you guys. It was by like nine when she was leaving. And we didn't really speak for up to an hour. Self. So, anyway, when she was leaving, she spoke to me and then she gave me something that was very, very, very sentimental. And even as at that, even at that, I, I didn't want to collect it, honestly. I didn't. But even as, as at then, because me, I was like, if I send this message to this girl, like our friendship is done. And you know how I am, I'm stubborn. Eh? Because I've said something, it must be done. Like, I don't even know. I don't know. Thank God for removing that stubborn good behavior from my mind. Because that stuff will make you just lose opportunities. Anyway, so she gave me something and I was like, oh God, I can't take this. Because I didn't even feel, I was like, ah, I can't take this. Oh, I cannot take it. But anyway, she forced me to take it. And our friendship was still curry, 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 summer, summer, summer. But, like, she, she fought for me. Do you understand? And she wasn't even, she's not my boyfriend, she's not my girlfriend. And she fought for me. And that changed the entire dynamic of our friendship. I feel like as of now, there's almost nothing I wouldn't do for her. And it's crazy because I didn't realize this. I didn't realize that I felt like this until, I can't even remember what happened, but... Like, I just felt so defensive of her. Like, ah, I couldn't explain. It's myself. I say, ah, they have, they have, they have get me. Oh, they have get me. So now our friendship is better than it has ever been. I feel like this is the best place our friendship has ever been. And I know she's watching this video. It's your big head. <laughs> and yeah, I, I really, I love her a lot. And that change, like that was something that happened this year that is really, really a, when I say milestone, not milestone, it was, it was significant because I've never had to be in a friendship where I felt this, when I say wanted, no, no, not wanted, this, ah. like I said before, friendships, you usually don't fight for your friends, like usually if there's a problem, everybody will just start, everybody will do all right, you forgive and then you move on, but this was a significant one and like I saw the effort that was put into making sure that I was comfortable, I was happy, you know, our friendship went back to where it was and that's something that I will forever appreciate and yeah, that was how she won my heart. Now, I cannot, I cannot get rid of the girl. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, like that was something very, very significant that happened to me. I don't remember what led me to answering this question. Um, what did you say? Well, okay, what great lessons have I learned? Yeah, forgiveness. Okay, yes, that was what led me to this. And then, apart from that, like, I was slighted this year. Yeah, I was slighted by somebody that like I cared about this year, and that was another thing that at first I thought that I would never get over it. Like. Different, different lighting though. <laughs> I thought I would never go over it, but I've come to a place now where I'm just like, I don't know how to explain it, but I'm free. Like, not free. The freedom is not the word. I'm, I'm happy within myself. <laughs> I don't know if that is it. I don't know if that is why I feel like this. Because normal me, you cannot slice me and get away with it. I will find you in the future. <laughs> Dear, watch your back. But then now I'm just, I'm, I'm such a, no, let love rain, let love rain, let love rain. And I'm just like, you know, I got started by somebody that I cared about and on different occasions. I mean, so I did my own slides, you know, forget, like I forget. I did a lot. But, you know, that was a significant 
thing and then I ended a ended a relationship that I didn't think I would ever be able to end. Like I thought that okay, even if it ends, we'll still be friends, but then now like zero communication. And you know, I feel like that's that about that. So a lesson I learned from that was what sometimes it's okay to let things go. You know. Sometimes you let things go for good reason. Alright? You know? And it's okay. Because I always used to feel like if you let something go, if you let someone go, you've given up or you've like you've done something bad. I don't know how to explain it, but that's just how I've always felt about friendships, relationships, stuff like that. But then this year I learned that it's okay to let things go. You know. How have you seen yourself grow in 2021? Well, I feel like this year I have seen myself grow in terms of being a better friend, of letting things go. I think that's like my major thing this year, like just the way I've been able to just let things go very, very easily this year is something like, see, I've had major things happen to me this year that I'm like, <laughs> Or in a normal day, people take like years to let go of just one of the many things that have happened to me. And I've been able to just be gracious and let things go a lot this year. From friends, from relationships, from people that have started, like a lot of things. And that's not me. If you know me, if you know, like Nikkei will tell you, I'm not that friend. I'm not that person. Nikkei has known me. I think Nikkei is my longest friendship. My friendship with Nikkei, sorry, is my longest friendship. Nikkei has known me since I was, I think, 13. She has been like, yeah, she has been my closest friend for the longest. And you can ask her, she will tell you, I don't let things go easily. Ah, no, 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 dear. <laughs> I might forget your offense, but but this year, like, that's something that God really, 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 really changed in me. So, yeah. And then number two, you cannot change a person. Like, I don't know. I've always known this, but then I've never lived it. You cannot change a person. And then believe a person's actions. Do you understand? Like, no, don't listen to the words that they say. Believe the person's actions and never, ever, ever, ever dilute yourself to make someone else comfortable because you regret it a lot. So don't do that. It's just not, it's not it, okay? It's not it. And then you can let go of somebody graciously. It doesn't have to be um, bad boots. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. I wish I knew this last year. Right, but then yeah, you can you can let go of things. Like you outgrow people, you outgrow places, you outgrow things, you know, and it's okay. Like I don't know. I always felt like it was a fault of mine if I outgrow somebody or if I outgrow a thing. It's like it, you cannot change. I don't know how to explain. It was just a crazy thing for me. But then I'm so happy that like I got would I say a revelation <laughs> as to how like there's nothing wrong with letting go of things and letting go of people it doesn't mean that i failed it just means that it was just not meant to happen like that friendship was not meant to happen that relationship was not meant to happen maybe that thing that i really like you guys you know how much i love harry Bowles. for some reason i'm just not feeling harry Bowles like that anymore like i have it once like here and there but then it's not something that i crave anymore and that's like i felt like i'm losing my identity <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't that deep, but then I felt like, wow, like, what does this mean that I'm a growing Harry Bowles? Like, am I not fun anymore? Like, what, what does this say about me? <laughs> but no, no, I just, I learned this year that it's okay to outgrow things, you know? So yeah, I think that was one of my greatest lessons this year. Then, um, oh no, the question was how have I seen myself grow, right? I don't know. Anyway, what's the most loving service you performed in 2020? Wow. Most loving service I performed. I try to remember things I do for people, so this is going to be a hard one. I think, I think somebody's going to have to say it in the comments. One of my friends has to tell me because I don't know. Your biggest piece of unfinished business in 2021. Unfinished business. Unfinished business. I don't feel like I have unfinished business anyway. I think, <laughs> I think, I think I'm I'm satisfied with everything is in life right now with regards to unfinished businesses i don't think i don't think i have any unfinished business well from what i from my um <laughs> from off the top of my mind i can't think of anything that i would say that oh i have unfinished business with this project or with this person or with nah i'm done I'm done with everything that i 
everything that okay hmm no i'm there yeah, i don't have a finished business why are you most happy about completing 2021 <laughs> my master's degree okay <laughs> you guys funny enough i didn't think i'll be this happy or this excited to be done with my master's like while i was doing it i said god just see me through <laughs> That was just my attitude when I was like, God, I beg. I beg, if not for me, for my mama. I beg, God, see me through. Like, but then now, I'm so proud of it, you guys. Like, that is, that is my, that's something I'm very happy about completing this year. Then what else? I don't think I, I really set out to complete anything else this year. I just wanted to finish school. That was like my number one thing. I just, I wanted to finish school. Who were the three people that had the greatest impact on your life in 2021? <laughs> Um, Pashada, for many, many different reasons. Um, Pashada taught me a lot this year. <laughs> Pashada taught me a lot this year. Pashada taught me strength this year. She, well, if you don't know who Pashada is, sorry for you, man. Well, she has a YouTube channel, so you guys can subscribe to her channel. Um, I'm going to leave her details in the description box down below but then for those of you that know you already know that this year Fashada had she went through like a really really big loss and i wouldn't lie at first the way she was handling it was scaring me i was like this girl is gonna run mad like i just felt like ah, no Fashada has not i felt like she, she was not okay like i was like i was like ah god this girl is not okay and i feel like when this thing when this thing will really really hit it's going to be crazy but then no like she actually is a weary <laughs> because i'm just thinking about so many things and like basically she taught me strength this year you can go and check out her youtube channel and you can know what happened to her the details of everything but yeah she 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 exposed me to a different kind of strength this year because i was like this girl is not all right like <laughs> but yeah Pashada definitely and Pasha taught me the value of friendship this year um we fought though me and this gay <laughs> we are for this gay oh my god we are fought we have everything we have had misunderstandings upon misunderstandings you would think she's my sister like you would think that we are same mother same father with the way we used to fight but <laughs> but she taught me a lot this year she definitely 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 made was one of the people that made the greatest impact of my life oh another person that made the great impact on my life has to be antibola I don't know, you guys don't know Antibola, she has never been on my channel, but she is, I call her, I call her my second mommy. <laughs> but she has been such a blessing to my life, honestly, like, a massive blessing. And I don't think this question covers family members, because that's why my family members are not here. You guys, I need to do my eyeliner. Mm? And I don't trust myself to talk and do this eyeliner. So let me just do my eyeliner real quick and I'll come back. My eyeliner, my lunches. And I'll be back with you guys, okay? Isn't it crazy how like liner and lashes just changes your whole face? Like I went from mm, to mm. <laughs> what's the biggest risk I took in 2021? Ha! If I tell you this risk, in fact, I cannot tell you. But no, it was big. <laughs> it was a very big risk. I was gambling with my life. I was gambling with my life but yeah it was a very silly not silly oh it was not silly it was a risk that i had to take and it was crazy but <clears throat> anyway a more a risk that i can um, talk about taking was i think um getting into paid employment because I was like, you know what, I feel like if I decide to get into paid employment and I'm going to have to forfeit my influencer dreams and my influencer career and I'm like, oh my God, I've put in so much work and then finally I don't have school in my way for the first time and like I can achieve so much, like should I really do this or should I just focus solely on influencing content marketing, digital marketing, stuff like that, right? And I decided that, you know what, let's, sorry, there's something in my eye. I decided that, you know what, let me get into paid employment and get some work experience, like nine to five work experience, which has turned out not to be such a bad thing at the end of the day. It's not that bad. What was the biggest surprise in 2021? My, my growth. 
that was my biggest surprise in 2021. Like, I feel, I don't know how to explain it. I feel wise. I feel, please, let this not come and mean that I cannot make mistakes so because I will make mistakes, you guys. But I feel grown in a sense. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but I know what I'm saying. Like, I understand what I'm saying. And I feel very, very grown. So that was my biggest surprise. I wasn't expecting that this year would be my year where I feel grown. But yeah. And then another surprise definitely was how much God had my back this year. Because, oh my God. Like, this year. <laughs> this year, I'm sure that when I get to heaven, God is going to talk to me about this year. I'm like, but, my dear, why you behave like that? <laughs> why? You know, why, why? Why were you behaving reckless in 2021? Why were you doing all that? Yeah, how, how much God had my back? Like, I really knew that God had my back, right, all my life. But then, this year is different for some reason. I feel very... I don't know how to explain it to you guys. But I feel like, I feel like this year, out of all the years of my life, God has carried me a lot. Like, he has had to. Not had to, but he has carried me a lot this year. And that's something that I'm very grateful for because I can't imagine doing life and um I'm just doing inshallah vibes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> eh? <laughs> for vibes are way so <laughs> I don't even know. But anyway, yeah, God has been faithful this year. That was a not a surprise, but that was something that it was a pleasant thing that I felt throughout this year or that I have felt throughout this year. What important relationship improved the most in 2021? You guys already know my relationship with Pashada. Like <sighs> it's only me and her that can understand this thing. Like I'm happy about where we are. Like I'm happy that we had necessary conversations. I'm happy like I'm just happy with our friendship and relationship. Not that I didn't have other friendships that improved this year, I did, but that was that was a significant one. And then I think that my relationship with my mom, although like we've had a pretty good relationship in like the past years, but then that was a relationship that improved. Then my relationship with my sister Christabel improved this year as well. We've also had a very good relationship, but you know, just we're just talking about improvements. So, yeah, and then you guys, oh my god, you guys, Christabel is so mature now. Like those of you that don't know who Christabel is, you need to go and watch my previous videos because you will love her. But you guys, like I don't know if any first child is watching this and you have younger siblings that you're like, ah, but when did you start crawling? That now you're telling me, like you're giving me advice with sense, like you know. So that's how I feel about her. Like I'm so proud of her and how she's maturing and everything like so proud you guys christabel is 18. hey i said what where are you running to where are you growing to and then when i think like that i'm like oh my god how was my mom feel like she'd be like ah, i have a 25 year old child <laughs> you know so i don't know and then apart from that like also my other siblings jason and chloe like everybody is just growing and everybody is just doing good and i'm so proud like i'm so proud i'm so happy like Oh my God has been faithful. Let me not like God has been faithful. What would you like to acknowledge yourself for in 2021? My growth. <laughs> I'm sure you guys are tired of hearing me say this growth word, but like I promise you, like it has been something this year. This year I have grown more than I ever thought that I would grow. Like even even the way I respond to situations, you guys. Like I've always known that I don't like stress, eh? But now I respond to it in a way that is not stress avoidant. Like it's not like I'm trying to like avoid the situation. No, like now I know how to confront situations. I know when to leave situations alone. Like I, I'm, I'm proud of myself, you guys. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm really, really proud of myself. I am, and like I'm excited. Like I'm excited for where life is going. I'm excited for how. I'm going to turn out. I'm excited for the plans that I have for next year. I'm, I'm excited about a lot of things, you guys. A whole lot of things. And um, I'm very hopeful. I'm very hopeful for the future. I'm very, very... I'm happy. Yeah. I'm happy. That's just it. I'm happy. And it's not just happiness. Like, I'm joyful. Um, I have Jesus joy. <laughs> I'm happy. And I love that for myself a lot. I'm proud of me. So 
So I'm going to be highlighting my face using the Hega and Esther Flash Pan Palette. So what's the last question? I think this is the last question. Okay, no. What else do I need to do or say to be complete with 2021? I don't understand that question. To be complete, like how? Um, to be, what do I need to do or say? I think I need to finish planning my 2022 content calendar. <laughs> I know that sounds so basic, but yeah, that's something I think I need to do so that like before the end of the year and for my year to feel like, okay, yeah, like, we're ready to move. I just want to toot my horn a bit. I just want to like appreciate myself a little bit. You guys, this year I did a lot of things that I have never done before. Like at my office, right? We started a podcast and I and I'm the host of that podcast. And I'm like, ha, look at me, oh <laughs> look at this little Jesus baby. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh, like I'm so proud of myself, you guys. I'm really, really for some reason, I just didn't see myself this year. Like, I, didn't, I wasn't seeing myself. But then it's towards the end of this year that I'm like, oh my God, I've achieved a lot. I've done a lot. I'm proud of me. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, I am, I'm happy with myself. I'm proud of myself. I'm, I'm, I'm good. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but... <sighs> it's crazy. Oh, battery is about to die. Oh my gosh. You guys, I'm going to have to change battery soon but oh, look at that glue come on now come on oh my gosh if you guys want like a step to step step i said step to step step by step tutorial like a makeup tutorial girls i got you okay just let me know in the comment section and <laughs> you know what i'm here for you <laughs> okay so last thing i'm going to be doing is lining my lips and i'm going to be using the beauty line by dd lip liner yeah so um, intentions for 2022 i think that i should answer this in a whole different video in another get ready with me video so this video is going to be looking back on 2021 and then next video is going to be looking forward to 2022 and then i'm going to share with you guys like my plans and like all the exciting stuff i have coming up for 2022 you guys i'm so happy like <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys. It's good to feel this good. Honestly, it is. So I'm thinking I should do red lipstick because I've done a lot of nude recently and I think that with this look, I should do red. What do you guys think? And so in times like this, I wish I could actually get you guys' opinions because now I'm actually really thinking about it. You guys, this brush, I love it so much. This lip line, I'm sorry, because it has like a lip brush that you can use to just like blend out harsh lines. See? And you can get it from Beauty Line by Didi. Perfect. Okay. Are you seeing that? You see how everything is all... <laughs> um, yes, I said I was going to be serious in this video. Let me... Hmm. No, but let me tell you something. I'm beautiful. <laughs> oh my God. I'm a beauty. <laughs> I'm a speck. If you don't get it, forget about it. Mm. You guys, this lipstick is yummy. It's from Bloombox Cosmetics. It's a very, very yummy lipstick. It's in the shade Ruby, okay? So if you like what you're seeing, then you should buy it for yourself. Like, you deserve good things. Come on. So, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I feel like I was kind of all over the place. Um, I'm shy now. <laughs> anyway, so yeah. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up don't forget to come back for my what's the video what did i say i was going to do um what i'm looking forward to in 2022 yeah if you enjoyed this one you might enjoy that one as well or you will enjoy that one as well so yeah thank you guys for watching sticking with me to this point if you watched up until this point i want you to leave a a heart in the comment section and i'll know you watch up on you watched up until this point thank you so much you guys for riding with me i love you so much and i'll see you in my next video bye